It is particularly interesting, this layout, because the prototype was built in 1839 and it is actually the oldest branch line railway station in the entire world. The creator of the line, Jeff Williams, uh, didn't live in this area, but he wanted a layout that was a typical uh, branch line, terminal layout, and so he hit upon Aylesbury, which was not far from where he lived in Hertfordshire. And at that time, there was quite a lot of the infrastructure still surviving. Uh, it must have, it didn't close down completely until the 1960s. Jeff Williams, who created the layout, was um, an engineer himself and he built the whole of the layout including the stock and it is done to a very high degree of realism and so I was absolutely delighted a few years ago when there was an advertisement in the EM Gage Society um, magazine uh, offering the uh, layout for sale. I went to see it, was completely enthused about it it's been beautifully preserved over the years. Our fellow member, Tim Peacock, then went to see the layout and uh, we uh, acquired it for the club uh, from the person who had built it. And we are working with members of the family to restore it and make it a, an exhibition presentable layout. My name is Andrew David and I belong to the Risborough District Model Railway Club. I'm interested in the history of railways, I write about the history of railways and I write about um, model railways. This layout has never been shown to the public before. It's known about through magazine articles but we think that probably this will be the only occasion that the public will be able to see it working uh, in its full glory. We are here now by a layout which is Aylesbury LNWR layout uh, and we're in the club room of the Risborough District Model Railway Club. The Risborough District Model Railway Club covers the area of Aylesbury. We have members from Aylesbury and this particular layout is a layout of uh, a former station in Aylesbury. One interesting thing is that when we did rewire it, because it needed to be rewired, it was wired in in the 1970s and technology has moved on now and we took a decision to completely rewire it with DCC and uh, when we actually put the, the locos on to run them, they ran straight away. Perspective is, is very carefully worked out so that the buildings at the rear are, are smaller than the buildings at the, uh, at the front of the layout. Um, and the layout is designed to be seen from a higher level than would normally be for a layout of this type so that you get the, the uh, run right from the front to the back of the layout and it, although it's quite narrow it looks much uh, wider than it is. One of the uh, main uh, sources of freight was of course poultry, the famous Aylesbury ducks, so ducks and geese would have been brought in um, and there was a, also the New Holland um, Agricultural Vehicle Factory, which uh, was quite important as well. It wasn't built to be presented at exhibitions. It was built to be run in the attic of the person who created it, but it lends itself very nicely to being shown at exhibitions. So we would like to make a presentation to engage the public, and we're hoping to have a sort of front of house people who will explain the historical background and the way that it's being operated and we're in the process of putting together a, a kind of a working timetable which will cover a day's running of trains um, and we've decided on a, a, a um, race day 
at Aylesbury and we'll have an excursion train uh, bringing in um, the punters for the races and we'll have a display and explanation about the, how, how the timetabling works. Well, we are showing it uh, at Railex uh, this year, 2016, uh, towards the end of May. It's the second bank holiday in May at uh, Stoke Mandeville Stadium near Aylesbury. Uh, at the moment, the club has no plans to show the layout at all after that. We're certainly not going to take it on the exhibition circuit. It's um, large, heavy, not made to be carried around quite vulnerable and possibly easily damaged if we did that. So it wasn't made for that purpose. Uh, so if anybody has an opportunity to come to Railex this year, they will get the benefit of seeing this layout for what is possibly going to be its only public outing. <laughs>